and today we're gonna do a grapple skitter shootout of the tomato top six that's out right now including the new FDR's 535 cat grappled skitter he just released this month I hadn't tried it out myself yet but uh, here currently we're at the uh, shop and we're gonna start them off at the shop and drive them over to the little job site. We'll go through some hilly terrains and see how they handle. And but first, before we leave the shop, I'm gonna use it to see if we can move the delimmer around or the trailer loader, the barco. Because in real life, that's how we move the delimmer or loaders like that is to move them around out in the woods with the skitter. You know, I'll show you here in a second after I get through order my pizza. Well, this shop here is a expendables modding shop. It can be found in the mod hub. And I'll uh, show you a neat little feature here they have of lift over here. It's probably meant to lift just trucks and stuff, but you can lift tractors and whatever else you can fit on it. Got a little upstairs you can go up and it's got a little parts and stuff up here. Little crates. couple of beers and snacks or whatnot. That's their main logo right there, the Expendables. We're going to jump down and break our ankle. And you come over here to this. And actually pick the equipment up. Once it raises, as you can see, you can go on there and you can uh, mod, it, mod and uh, Re-equip what not to your vehicle you have on a lift. Coke machines, you can uh, play basketball here. Pick up the ball, you can sit there and throw it inside the hoop. Last time I tried, I lost one of my balls and it didn't return until uh, when I loaded back in the game. But you got light switches in here. All your doors can close. It is an excellent little shop mod. The main big area here you can bring in, like I had in here, was the, the Barco earlier. What's awesome about this, if you get you some pallets, maybe some fertilizer, seeds, and whatnot, which I'm going to try later on. I hadn't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. I mean, it's expendables. It's going to work. They do awesome mods, such as their truck right here. That's an uh, expendables mod truck right there. And they, they work real well. But, you know, get a little forklift a little later on and put me some bags of seeds, fertilizers, uh, whatever else try that out two little working areas nice pictures hanging up on the wall and stuff but this is mainly supposed to be a skitter review so let's in here I'll let 
just use this door. I lock myself in. Let's jump up here and get an overall view. Over there to my front and right is a little Massey Ferguson grappled skitter. To the direct front of us is the old John Deere would use. To the front left is the new FDR 535 skitter cat. And we got the Tiger Cat 635D off to our left. Underneath us here is the FDR's old John Deere he had that used to have a problem with floating in multiplayer, but <clears throat> they, uh, he would think it's the, the skitter, but the skitter worked fine on other maps. For some odd reason, when you own one of FDR's own map and in multiplayer, it would glide around and stuff. You might have seen it in some of the earlier videos. I think the Massey Ferguson would slide around on his map also. And the little John Deere. And uh, I don't think it was a problem with the skitter. It was just some issues in his map. Because if you run it in... On single player, it worked fine. And we ran it on multiplayer on other maps and it didn't glide around. But also, the skid steer would glide around on this map in multiplayer, but it wouldn't in other maps in multiplayer. So I'm thinking it was an issue with the maps. This interferes with something on there. Off to my right. Is the old Cat 555D. I can't remember who done this mod, but it's an old one. I think it's actually the first grappled skitter that was available for Farming Simulator 19. It's been out already a year. And then they also have a cabled version of this. Somebody got it, took the grapple off of it. And just made it to a, a, a winch skitter. Just kind of takes the fun out of it, you know. To me, whenever I, if I had to skid, I myself preferably use the grapple skitter because it's just too easy running a, the line skitter. I just don't really care about running them. So let's take a little closer look. The Massey Ferguson as. Our old uh, buddy would say he likes the Massey Ferguson because it's so massive. Because I was running a duels on it in that video. And, uh, it's nice. Top speed of this is actually the fastest out of all of these skidders at 15 miles an hour. I can see it's got the muffler there coming up. And going up right there. Kind of resembles an old cat. But I'm trying to remember how the exhaust was on the cat. I think it come up close to the roll bar. And it followed the line of the road bar. You got the fuel tank sitting right behind the, the driver's seat there. That's what it looks like, the fuel tank. And I'm going to guess maybe the hydraulic tank will be sitting in the belly down here by the looks of the lines. Even got an old winch back there. 
It's got beacons on it, which I don't understand why a skitter should have beacons on this one. Let me see. I don't think the grapple will rotate left or right. Just open, close, and the up and down is extremely fast. And the boom really isn't all that long. If you can reach out and get some drags, you have to really get up close to uh, to grab what you're trying to get. Oh, you can put down a blade. Okay, be great for pushing your wood piles up a little bit with it. It's the old 548 John Deere right here. It's been a great skitter. Can't really grab too much, but with these bigger trees, you'd probably be best to grab one. Just the same as that Massey Ferguson. Because really it doesn't have the weight or the power to get multiple of the big ones. And plus, they're going to slip right out the back. It's got a little issue, not an issue, but a little glitch where the emblems on it kind of disappear. Like right now, you don't see nothing. But the, the deer would be right there in the center. And there'd be one right there. You can barely see it. But once you're inside of it, you can see it kind of glitching out a little bit behind the cab. And also on the side, once you get to a certain angle on the side, it'll start glitching out a little bit. Lights are pretty good on this one. Let me see what the lights are like on this one. It's got front, rear, and that's it. I like they eliminate pretty good. Now this is the new, just released. New FDR's Cat 535. And the reason I say it's true to a 535 because let's take a quick look at this 555. You can see when you come up close to it. Actually, I'm going to look right up. I put that little circle there on top of the tire, which is almost accurate. Let's see what it is. This can be kind of hard to try to get back over here. I'm right up against that tire, and you can see the tire difference. We're going to put them side by side just to see. Because the 555 is a lot bigger machine than your 5 and a quarter, 535, and 545. And a lot of weight difference also. And uh, it is dual arc. And let's see what all sorts of tricks we got. He kind of forgot to take the John Deere uh, controls out of it. Excuse me, I had to sneeze for a second. Steering wheels aren't like this. And cats, older cats, yeah. And John Deere's, yeah. Woo. The only, I mean, it, it ain't nothing wrong. It's just me nitpicking. Is the joysticks in FDR stuff? They're so small, look like that break if you get into it. But you know, he's not one for making an excellent interior. But you know, if you play first person. I'm not hating it. I'm just telling you. 
from a realistic standpoint. And the other cat over there actually has the uh, correct uh, steering wheel in it, how it looks. And as far uh, the gauge, I hadn't really noticed if it works or not. And uh, let's see. He did add the camera angle there, which is neat. On the way here, bringing it. I know there's a way to rotate. There we go. You can rotate the grapple. That's using the Xbox controller with factory uh, settings is left bumper and right bumper and on your left joystick left or right on a tiger cat over there is left bumper and right bumper I think the right joystick left and right and the other, only other thing about both these well I'll say for this cat It is a. I got my controls mixed up. Give me a second. There we go. Is that a? These being death machines, they're quiet. You know, they don't make all that noise there. But still, uh, overall, it's a great looking machine. Let's check your lights out. One click, everything comes on. Let's move over here. Uh, to this one now you can see how the steering wheel is and this person you know it, they didn't really put too much into creating the interior on this so this one here is a little bit more quieter than the FDRs this one Right bumper and left bumper with the right joystick. Right and left will rotate that grapple. That's the thing, you know, if you run multiple machines from different motors, it's trying to figure out what the button does what. FDR's John Deere, also known as a painted caterpillar, made to look like a John Deere. It's still there, basically operates the same. doesn't steer when you're doing this so didn't go crazy there for a second so you can rotate this one. and when you're doing this holding both bumpers with left joystick it moves then it doesn't steer the machine okay yeah Okay, so this one will not steer. I 
making any turn whatsoever. And a good old tiger cat tandems on the back. And the only thing I have to say about this one, I would say the boom is actually a little bit too long. But I could be wrong about that. multiple different lights you can turn on and stuff which is awesome First off for the test, actually I'm going to cut the video here and I don't know if it's going to be in a part two, let this be the introduction for all of these and in part two we're going to be moving a delimmer around and then maybe part three is going to be out in the woods testing them or to drive to the woods and then we're gonna pull some wood uh, pull some small ones pull some big ones I don't know if I'm gonna add it all and uh, if I do that it's probably gonna be about an hour long video where I'm gonna cut them down to sections we'll see <laughs> 